Hello again. I hope you're enjoying these classes as much as I'm enjoying being with you. Wanted to share with you a copy of my mother's life story. And one of the things that you will find as you're writing your story or a family member's story is that the title will churn up to the top. So don't start Yay. with the title. Don't worry about the title or have a working title. Her story is called More Roses Than Thorns, a reminiscence of the first 90 years of my life. The More Roses Than Thorns came in the last half hour of my interview with her when she said, well, you know, my life hasn't been a bed of roses, but there have been more roses than thorns. And so it was exactly what you needed. So in order to reminisce for her, we had a, a box of family photos and she, she did not like being on video. Just kept saying, no, 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 no. Let's just, let's come on. I'll just go buy you Mexican. I don't make me do this. But then when I said, well, tell me about this. Who, who is this? And she'd say, Oh, that's my little brother, Sammy. And then she would tell the story. And then, then as she told the story, she would say, and do you know what else he did? And then she would be off this. So a reminiscence is where you remember something, you recall it, you get that memory, and then it leads into something else. And, and a good way to describe this is while you're having a conversation with friends and you say, um, you know, our son died in, in the Vietnam War. And she will say, oh, I know how you feel. My cousin died in the Vietnam War. So, so it's where one story will strike another story and, and it will lead to things. One of the ways that I want you to reminisce that, that makes your stories come alive is to Google what music was popular in 1954, uh, what movies were playing in 1970. Now, this is what's called um, a creative license because it's not, you can't remember the exact song playing on the radio when you took your, your girlfriend to the movie. But the chances are, if it was the number one uh, song, that it was playing on the movie. And you, look, uh, you just Googled what events were happening in 1964. And then you can reminisce about those. You can weave them into it without, without doing a whole story on the Vietnam War, without going into all of those things. You can weave some of that narrative in. And that's what reminiscence is. It's you take a fact or a, a, an event and you, you think about it. You remember, you have the memory, and then you reminisce about especially your feelings. How did you feel about that? When we wrote my husband's life story, and he was in the Vietnam War, one of the ways we did his was, as I was interviewing him, then when he came to a particular time, when he wanted to teach his children, we indented that and um, put that in italics. And so he's relating some things that happened in Vietnam. But then he says, but I want to tell you how I feel about war. And he then kind of shares his real deepest feelings of how he felt about war in general, and specifically how he felt about the war in Vietnam. So it was um, a fact that triggered an emotion. And that's what I hope that you will do as you reminisce and braid together these times and seasons and events that make up your life or the life of someone you love where you're gathering their story. Thanks, and I'm counting on you to just do such a, a great job of gathering these memories and compiling them into a form that your uh, descendants will bless you for forever. Thanks and see you again soon. Now, I, I, 